Hello America, it's Sean Bianca with GOP Girl and Clean TV Live. And your tax dollars going to train our nation's senators and congressmen on how to be gentlemen. Yes, that's correct. Today the House okayed anti-harassment training. <laughs> Am I missing something? I don't know about anyone else, but I'm furious. I am furious that my tax dollars are, go are going to be used to train men that we have elected, men whom we thought were upstanding citizens, men whom we thought knew how to behave, men whom we thought knew better than to drop their drawers, men whom we thought knew better than to touch female co-workers, men whom we thought would represent us in Congress and the Senate and be upstanding citizens, men whom we thought we could look up to, we now are going to be paying to train on how to behave like gentlemen. No, no, I have no tolerance for this. I just watched the Republican uh, House leader, Mitch McConnell, 75 years old, old geezer. I watched him, of course, get this, he was a supporter of Luther Strange, whom Roy Moore, whom Roy Moore beat. And he is saying that he is almost certain that Moore will face a Senate ethics investigation and that they will, they will also elect they, they could likely vote to elect Roy Moore to be expelled if he is elected as senator of Alabama. Now, we, we haven't demanded, I, I, I'm sorry, but we should not even have a vote for Senator Al Franken, a vote for uh, Conyers, for Congressman Conyers. They should be fired immediately. There should be no tolerance for sexual misconduct, misconduct by our leaders in Congress and the Senate. Do you hear that, Senator McConnell? No, no tolerance. By the age of 40, by the age of 35, I would hope men whom we elected would know how to behave but it appears that they do not. It appears men whom we've elected do not know how to behave. And if they don't know no better than to drop their pants and show their goods, then you know what? Out, out. I want them out of Congress. I want them out of the Senate because you know what? America has no respect for them. President, former President Bill Clinton should not have remained in office. He should have been forced to resign. And that set a precedent. And that precedent, that precedent left women in the workplace in Washington, and now we know in mainstream media, in a very bad and vulnerable place to be sexually harassed. And it was okay because, hey, the president got away with it. You know what? I've had it. And as for Matt Lauer, <laughs> if you watch the interview with Matt Lauer interviewing Bill O'Reilly after Bill O'Reilly had been fired, it is really, really entertaining. Matt Lauer acts all important and all sophisticated, like he is just above all of this. Yes, Matt Lauer just grills O'Reilly on sexual allegations. He says, all-knowing. He says to Bill O'Reilly, you don't let your number one guy go unless you have information. And Bill O'Reilly said, no, not true. It was a business decision. Bill O'Reilly also said, in 42 years, not one woman, not one, there was not one human resources investigation against him. And there were no rumors as well. Now, I don't know anything more about that. However, to watch, nonetheless, to watch Matt Lauer in this interview, it is really it, thoroughly entertaining. When we have Matt Lauer with a lock on under his desk, so are, are we to are, are we to assume that perhaps Matt Lauer 
possibly raped women in the workplace. If he, I, I mean, it, I have not heard of a lock being put on a door since Ted Bundy. Yes, Ted Bundy, the serial killer, had on him, had a lock where women, when he, they were put, when they got into his car, they could not leave the car. So Matt Lauer, in my opinion, or whatever that's worth, in my opinion, Matt Lauer is as bad as Ted Bundy. He just didn't kill them. He just sexually harassed them. Zero tolerance. Mitch McConnell, zero tolerance. Any senator, any congressman that, that, that we have evidence, direct evidence, and direct evidence that these men have behaved in an un, you know, unprofessional fashion should be fired. Any man in Congress, any man in the Senate, any man in any place of work should be fired immediately. Because when you reach the age of 35, you should know better. And if you don't, you don't deserve to be in the workplace with women. That's my take on today's latest on the sexual allegations in with Matt Lauer. Mainly, your tax dollars are teaching our congressmen and senators how to behave like gentlemen. <laughs> Doesn't that make you just so happy? This is Sean Bianca with GOP Girl on Clean TV Live. Until next time. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.